everyone! I considered doing the Summer Lovin' book tag today, but it seemed a little bit wrong to be filming that wearing a jumper and a scarf. So instead I am going to do the Bookish Beginnings tag, which was created by Lauren over at Reads and Daydreams, and I was also tagged by Lauren. Question number one, tell us what you loved to read as a child. I loved to read quite a few things, but I would read and reread. Um, <laughs> I've talked about this in the past. Some of my favourites included the famous five books and then of course Harry Potter, His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. Another really great trilogy is the Wind on Fire series by William Nicholson, particularly the first one. I think the first one works well as a standalone and oh I love that book so much. It's called The Wind Singer and I read it over and over and over. Had the audiobook as well great book. Question number two, what was the first adult fiction that you read or tried to read? I tried to read the Lord of the Rings books when the films came out because I felt like being a New Zealander and everything it would be really exciting to to read the books and then to see the films because you know that's the right way to do it but uh, no I didn't get on well with the Lord of the Rings especially as a child. Um, I then went on and read The Hobbit and really liked The Hobbit but it took me a long time to get around to reading The Lord of the Rings and when I did read them I didn't especially enjoy them. But I think that that would have been the first foray into adult fiction. Question three is what was the first classic book that you read which wasn't for school? So aside from the likes of Beatrix Potter and the Narnia books, probably the first classic classic sort of adult fiction classic that I read was Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. What a boring answer, I'm so sorry. I can't remember exactly when it was when I read this but I had seen the film a couple of years before I read the book. It got me on to reading more classics. I read uh, North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, then moved on to Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre. So I guess that's a fairly typical way of sort of getting into classics, um, starting with a bit of Austen, and it worked for me. Question number four, tell us about a book that got you into a new sort of genre or writing style. I can't pin down an exact book, but when I moved on from reading sort of children's books to adults' books, I read a lot of more popular fiction and then when I started to discover more literary fiction and books that were beautifully written that's when I started to get into reading more. So books like Snow Falling on Cedars by David Gutterson, Black Swan Green by David Mitchell, Mr Pip by Lloyd Jones, The Vintner's Luck by Elizabeth Knox and perhaps the key one would be Atonement by Ian McEwan because that really made me want to read more Ian McEwan and it made me want to read more books that were really beautifully written and had different perspectives as well. Number five, the first literary prize winner that you read. I'm not entirely sure about this but I'm going to go for the first Booker Prize winner that I read which was Life of Pi, another key book that really got me into reading literary fiction. Question six, the first piece of translated fiction that you read and this would have been The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, originally written and published in Dutch and I read this when I was at primary school. And question number seven is about booktube and how you got into booktube and what it was like uploading your first video. So I'd been watching booktube for a wee while and I really wanted to get back into reading more fiction after having a bit of a hiatus after finishing my English degree. I'd been reading a bit of non-fiction but really wanted to get back to what I loved. Of course I also wanted to get involved in the community and actually have more of a relationship with people who I watched and would hopefully watch me. The first video that I filmed actually didn't make it onto the internet. I filmed it and then went to edit it and realised that actually if you're going to do a wrap up of what 14 books or so I think it was you have to be succinct and you can't go on about how much you liked a certain thing about it for ages and ages because that's what reviews are for. So my first video was a wrap up but it wasn't the same wrap up, um, it was of August last year which I uploaded in late September so that probably gives you an idea of how much I was overthinking the whole thing. It was pretty nerve-wracking uploading my first video and waiting to see if I got any views. I must say I just re-watched it and it's not particularly good and I've definitely got a lot better at talking to a camera since then. The 21st of September is my booktube anniversary and I will have been on this platform for a whole year. In celebration I thought that I would do a Q&A which I haven't done before so if you have any questions for me do leave them in the comments and I will pick out the best ones slash the most interesting ones and yeah I will do a video 
on those. I hope to get that video up on the actual anniversary so you've got a little while to ask me questions and I'm sure I'll do another reminder in another video. Thank you very much Lauren for tagging me in this video. I am going to tag some people. The first is Taylor from Let's Get Lost in Words, Amanda from Amanda Center, Brie from Moriarty and Her Books, and Emily from Lady of Letters. I will link all of their channels below and you should go and watch them because they're lovely. So that's the video. Leave your questions and comments and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!